teacher, no? Man, you're a pretty good pupil. My ambition is to make this the place to hunt pheasant in northern Mexico. If we can keep them this size, that shouldn't be a problem. Just gotta get the gringo tourists on board. They're a big money spinner, sure. But if that's what it takes to keep this place up and running, so be it. It's all for a good cause. Speaking of gringos, my cousin told me that she'd spotted some intruders with a U.S. license plate going hog wild, shooting animals from, get this, from a hunting stand mounted to a pickup truck. My insurance doesn't cover them, and I doubt the hunting they're doing is particularly ethical. So can you keep a lookout? Gracias. Did you notice how dry the land around the old cattle pasture was? Even compared to the rest of the ranch, I mean. The more cattle you cram into a small area, the less ground cover there is. Water just runs off the land instead of making it into the vegetation. My parents' generation dug wells and pumped out several times more water than rain in a year. When I told them my plans for this place, they weren't happy. Said I was selling out my inheritance. <laughs> we haven't spoken much since. Of course, there are plenty of rancheros out here who graze their cattle responsibly. I just want to go in a different direction. I've tried explaining what they gain from it. <laughs> they just wish me luck. But I've heard what they say behind my back. Chavita fresita. It's like, uh... They're basically calling me a... Snow. <sighs> they went to college in Mexico City, same as me. I just stayed a while after I graduated. Worked overseeing protected natural areas for Conan. But back to business. Luckily for us, there's an easy solution to the groundwater problem. It just requires some more muscle on your part. I need you to set up a few gabions. They're wire mesh baskets you fill with rocks and place along the banks of the arroyo to accumulate silt, which holds the water like a sponge so it can trickle back into the ground. Uh, the winter rains aren't as predictable as they used to be. You know, with climate change doing a number on us. So, the sooner, the better. should be a pile of rocks there. Line up the gabions first, then fill them. They're conspicuous enough, no? No? Well, the important thing is that they work. Cram as many as you can into each of them. That'll set us up nicely for winter. It's gonna take some time to see the effect of all this. But it's good work you're doing. Believe me, I'm grateful for the extra set of hands. I have one final task for you before you are free to go off on your own. Most of our outposts are former stockmen's residences. Gives them a bit of rustic charm, you know? Back in the old days, entire families worked the land here. Men, women, and children. We still had a couple of people on staff when I was born. But then beef prices tanked and my parents couldn't afford the expense anymore. Us kids had to pick up the slack. Anyway, there's a stockman's residence kind of in the middle of nowhere, even by the standards of this place, that had fallen into disuse. 
We've given it a paint job and replaced some of the furniture. Now all that's needed to officially establish it as an outpost is a notice board. Head over and set it up. 